Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 2021 Village of Southampton Oath of Office Ceremony. Um, I would ask if everyone would mind putting their cell phones on, on silent for a, uh, until the, the ceremony is concluded. Thank you. Um, I want to thank everyone for coming out this evening for this very special occasion. Hopefully, hopefully the weather is holding up for us, but we'd like to thank everybody for coming out tonight um, for our Oath of Office ceremony. And um, we're going to get underway. Uh, the first, uh, the first, I'd like to um, lead everyone in the Pledge of Allegiance. Okay, we'd like to start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I'd like to invite up Pastor Joanne Utley of the Southampton United Methodist Church for our invocation. Pastor Utley. God of many names, in this place of great beauty and history, we give you thanks for this moment and for all of the days ahead. Today we come from many places, backgrounds, ethnicities, and by many paths to invoke your blessings upon our newly chosen leaders, Jesse Warren, Robin Brown, Roy Stevenson, and their families. As our newly elected mayor and trustees assume their responsibilities to lead our village, help them bear their, the responsibility of leadership with integrity, courage, and humility. May we see in them a steadfast dedication to service, and may we always be willing to support and work alongside them. May they be inspired with courage and compassion to stand and act in solidarity with the disenfranchised and marginalized in our community and region. Give them the wisdom and strength to move forward with purpose and intention in the work of repairing a world filled with injustice, hate, and intolerance. May their ears and eyes be open to the meek as well as the bold, to the poor as well as the wealthy, to the native as well as the newly arrived. Give them hearts for collaboration to protect the inherent natural beauty and wildlife you have created in this place for our use and stewardship. Guide and protect all of our village leaders as they work for the well-being of all those who inhabit this beloved community that we call home. Gracious and loving God, we ask too that you help each one to find a balance as they commit their lives to service. May the joys outweigh the sorrows, may waves of laughter swallow the tears, and may the peace that only you can offer give them rest in difficult times. We lift these prayers to you, O God the one who knows our inmost beings, the one who knit us together, and the one who has a plan for each of us, plans to give us a future with hope. May it be so. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Utley. Um, I'd like to uh, ask Mayor Warren and uh, Father Mike Vitrano, who will be administering his oath of office, to please come forward. Okay. Okay, there you go, Father Mike. I think, okay, I think you should stand so that you can, Jesse, I think you should stand so you can be heard in the microphone. There you go. Okay. Raise your right hand. Left hand on the right hand. Mr. Warren, raise your right hand and repeat after me. I. Jesse M. Warren. I, Jesse M. Warren. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support. That I will support. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the State of New York. The Constitution of the State of New York. And the laws of Southampton Village. And the laws of Southampton Village. And that I will faithfully discharge. And that I will faithfully discharge. The duties of Southampton Village Mayor, 
the duties of Southampton Village Mayor. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Congratulations, Mr. Mayor. Thank you very much, Father Mike. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, All Charlene. Right. <laughs> I would like to invite up trustee-elect Roy Stevenson and Barbara Wilson, justice of both the village of Southampton town and the town of Southampton, to administer his oath. Okay. Okay. I, Roy Stevenson. <laughs> I, Roy Stevenson. Do solemnly swear, you'd be loud. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. Of the United States of America. Of the United States of America. And the Constitution of the great state of New York. And the Constitution of the great state of New York. And the laws of Southampton Village. And the laws of Southampton Village. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of Southampton Village Trustee. Of Southampton Village Trustee. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, sure. Okay. Does somebody else need? Now I'd like to invite up Trustee Elect Robin Brown and her cousin, who will be administering the oath of office, who is the Honorable Andrea Phoenix, Nassau County District Court Judge. Oh, Sue, so are you holding the Bible? Yes. Okay. So we have to come to the room. Judge, it's stand right there. That's perfect. Okay. And it's great. Perfect. Good evening to all assembled. I'm just going to say a few words um, about Robin. I certainly extend my warmest congratulations to the Honorable Mayor, Jesse Warren, and Trustee Roy Stevenson. I have an awesome task of administering the oath of office to my beloved cousin, Robin Brown. Our grandmothers were sisters, and they, along with Robin's grandfather, are certainly smiling down at Robin's newest accomplishment. In a few minutes, Robin will be your next village trustee, and she is prepared to lead with grace and steadfast commitment to the people of Southampton Village, a village that dates back centuries and is a benchmark for integrity and authenticity. Robin has been blessed with a servant's heart and is leading a remarkable life. She is a 20-year resident of Southampton, and indeed, the best is yet to come. Robin has been employed with Delta Airlines for over two decades, and she has ascended to several positions over the years and has enjoyed a very rewarding career path. Currently, Robin is the president of the Board of Directors of Eastville Community Historic, Historic Society in Sag Harbor. This society has made innovative strides over the years. Robin also sits on the board of a nonprofit organization called Synergia, which is located in the tri-state area. She assists with those and their families battling autism and other debilitating challenges. In Atlanta, Georgia, Robin partnered with the Vision House to open a home for abused women as well as a maternity home for deserving teenaged mothers. While on foreign soil, Robin traveled to Johannesburg, South Africa, 
and helped to create the Africa Health Awareness Foundation. This organization serves orphans. Presently, she is a part of an effort to build a school and a medical clinic for this young and most vulnerable population. Robin has also lent her hand to lofty service projects in Haiti, Thailand, and Burma, inclusive of teaching seminars in Burundi. Our trustee-elect is an active member of Gateway Second Church of God in Christ, located in Queens, and is embraced by both Southampton's King's Chapel and the St. Andrew's Dunes Church of Southampton. She is joined here today in spirit by her loving mother, Barbara Greer, and father, Robert Greer, who are looking down and sending their approval to their very talented and gifted daughter. For Robin's parents were indeed her first teachers and knew her extraordinary potential. Here today is her uncle, Harry Perry Walker, her aunts who are maybe in route, Olivia Barrett, Edith Brookfield, and Karen Walker, a host of other family members and dear friends. Of course, this includes the wind beneath her wings, her beloved husband and soulmate, Wendell Brown. Very importantly, Robin is joined by you, who make up the time-honored village of Southampton. You will all have the distinct privilege of being direct beneficiaries of Robin's commitment to service, as well as her unparalleled and unwavering devotion to equality and justice for all. Robin now joins me as I administer her oath, and also Lieutenant Suzanne Herto, who hails from the Southampton Police Department to hold the Bible during her swearing-in ceremony. Robin, raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Robin Brown. I, Robin Brown. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the State of New York. The Constitution of the State of New York. And the laws of Southampton Village. And the laws of Southampton Village. And that I will faithfully discharge that I will faithfully discharge the duties of Southampton Village trustee, the duties of Southampton Village trustee, according to the best of my ability, according to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations and go to work. <laughs> Now I would like to invite up Father Michael Vitrano, the uh, pastor of the Basilica of uh, Sacred Hearts of Jesus and Mary. I should know that, right? <laughs> For our final inspiration. Father Mike. I'm glad she got that. She's one of our parishioners. <laughs> so the benediction is the, literally the blessing, uh, the calling on someone, something greater than ourselves this day. It is uh, not only maybe my words, but the sentiments and the asking and the prayer come from all of you. So if you are comfortable doing this, I would ask you to extend your hands in blessing toward those who are taking office today. Please join me. Great and loving God, we have celebrated here this past weekend the feast of our independence, Independence Day, an inspiration of the founders of our nation that under the direction of the Almighty that they may and we may assume governance over each other, a governance that is based on the equality, the universality, the goodness of every human person. Though those in office are entrusted with the power of governance, they are nonetheless human, they are brothers and sisters to us, and they are entrusted with the awesome responsibility of ensuring the freedom, the happiness, the equality, the justice of every person who inhabits this village. And so we ask that they receive help from the Almighty today, that the source of this inspiration, the source of this governance be with them every day of their lives, 
that above the ordinary stresses and difficulties of human living, they may always keep before them the great aspiration that it is to serve the needs of all with justice, equality, fairness, and blessing that they are entrusted this, with this role today. And so may the God who watches over us always bless you in your work. We say all together, amen. amen. And God bless America. Thank you, Father Mike. That will conclude our Oath of Office ceremony for this evening. Uh, at 6 o'clock, we will begin our, um, our uh, organization meeting. So uh, help yourself to some refreshments. Oh, I'm sorry, Jesse. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesse, I forgot Jesse had a speech. They didn't put that on here. <laughs> it's not on the agenda. OK, Mayor Warren. Uh, I would like to invite Mayor Warren up to, uh, to address the crowd and um, for his inauguration speech. Thank Jesse. You I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> It's true, I looked at the agenda and I was wondering where we were. First, I just wanted to say how great it is to see everyone out here today. Uh, it took a lot of work to get to these steps of Village Hall the first time and even more for the second time. So it is because of this group that's here today and many others uh, who provided us with comfort and support and inspiration uh, that led to us being here. So I just wanted to extend a very large uh, and thank you to everybody here today. Uh, we have uh, elected officials from the town, we have residents, we have stakeholders, uh, we have everybody here uh, across our community. So it, it just means so much to see everyone here. Uh, and we are, as an entire board, and me personally as well, extremely grateful to see everyone here. Uh, I just wanted to uh, thank uh, Pastor Utley for today's invocation. Uh, thank you, Father Mike, for swearing us in, uh, Lieutenant Sue Hurtow, Judge Barbara Wilson as well. Uh, thank you to our village administrator, Charlene Cagle Betts, our uh, deputy clerk. I know Kathy Sweeney is, uh, is here as well. Uh, our judge as well came out today. Um, me and Michelle Guerra, our registrar. Uh, Miranda Weber, who has worked tirelessly behind the scenes to make today happen and everything else happen. Uh, to our members of our Board of Trustees, our Deputy Mayor Gina Resta, to the religious leaders who are here today, uh, and all residents and friends and family members who came out to join, thank you very much. Now today as we embark on our second administration, we must look to the future, but equally as importantly, we must look to the very basics. The last two years were extremely challenging, but together we have gotten through unprecedented times. 16 months, the direction we were headed was very uncertain, but yesterday, thanks to Mr. Grisnick, Bill Jones, and members of the Veterans Affairs Commission, we had one of our best July 4th parades right there, Mr. Grisnick. <laughs> and after a year and a half of hardship, we walked together. Everybody has a community, regardless of political affiliation, regardless of ideology, regardless of how one voted, we all walked together as one community, and it was a great sight to see. And thank you again to Mr. Grisnick, Bill Jones, and the entire Veterans Affairs Commission. So today and tomorrow, we start both to accomplish the most small goals to help improve our village, and we also want to work on the largest and most inspiring and transformational long-term goals that our village has to offer. Now, the challenges and projects ahead of us will be great, but we will not be able to accomplish any of these goals without your help, without your support, and without your great enthusiasm that you have here today. We hope that this administration over the next two years will also be decisive and leave a legacy of accomplishments for future generations the same way that many of our past mayors and past trustees have left, left us with those accomplishments that we have been the recipients of today. Today we stand here taking the oath of office the same way Samuel Parrish did, I believe in 1913, and the same way that every mayor and trustee will do so in years to come. So we look to the past for guidance and inspiration, and we also look to the future to guide our village forward together. And I was looking for a, a quote, and one of the most poignant quotes that I, I found actually was uh, by former President Ford, actually, in 1974 in August, when he said, 
when he was being somewhat sworn in, he said, there is no way we can move forward except together. No way we can win except by serving the people's urgent needs. We cannot stand still. We cannot slip backwards. We must go forward now and together. As we lay out some of the guiding principles to move forward over the next term and years to come, we must work with everybody and we must listen to everyone. And while today we see many familiar faces, we certainly see many supporters and we're happy to see all of you. And we see many people who are passionate about the village. We must reach out to even those who did not support us, who have differences of opinions, and perhaps who may not even know the day-to-day -day activities in Village Hall and may not even have the full set of information, but we must reach out to everybody and include everybody in the process so that we can begin to move forward with what we believe is a universal agenda for the village. We must invest in our community. We must ensure that we have the necessary infrastructure to continue to the improvements of our downtown and our historic district. We look to preserve our village's history. We look forward to updating our village's comprehensive master plan with community input from everybody. We must contribute and invest in our environment and make it a priority to ensure that we have clean water bodies and also help lead the way with many of our residents, I see some of them here, in the reduction of our local carbon footprint through drawdown and always take steps to improve the quality of life for our residents and to make sure that we have a village that works for everybody, includes everybody, and most importantly, celebrates everybody. And lastly, if not most importantly, we must prioritize our public health, and I see some of our public health workers here, as well as improve our law enforcement, and thank you uh, to our law enforcement community for coming out today as well. Today we put these principles together and we're looking forward to working with our entire village board collectively and collaboratively especially with our two new trustees, Robin Brown and Roy Stevenson. So thank you again to them. And we'll work together as one village board, one community, and collaboratively to serve every single resident of the community. And most importantly as well, we will work collaboratively with all of our village employees who work every day behind the scenes to provide us with the high quality of services that we have expected to be present every day, but often we do not recognize. So thank you very much to all of our village employees. And as we conclude, we also must recognize some of the limitations that we have as elected officials. And we have been honored to be the recipient of these positions by you, the residents. But each position that we have just taken the oath of office for is only temporary, and we are bound by both the local laws that our predecessors have created, as well as the current laws of the state of New York. These laws, especially the local laws, are the basis for our service. Our oath today shall serve as the guarantee that we adhere to those laws and principles. We are simply a steward for you in order to help our village and to serve our entire community. Today we are in elected office, but tomorrow we will pass on our work and our knowledge to the next group, the next generation, the next group of volunteers, and we will do the job representing the village and our residents in a way that is done fairly, honorably, equally, and temporarily for all of our residents in our extraordinary village. As we celebrate our past and look forward to our future, with your help and with God's help, we continue and we will continue to bring positive change to our community. Thank you again for everyone who came out. and May God bless the village of Southampton and may God bless us all. Thank you very much. Um, I'd like to invite up a trustee, Roy Stevenson. <clears throat> Good afternoon, everyone. It's truly an honor to be standing before you today not a place I thought I would be a few short months ago. There are so many who made this great honor possible and to who I owe so many thanks. 
first and foremost, the team that, that helped me get to this position. Too numerous to mention by name. Many of you are here. You know who you are. You gave me your time, your support, sometimes your coinage uh, to help me take a few ads. So thank you so much to all those people. Couldn't have done it without you. Next, and, and even more importantly, I must thank my wife, Polly. When I first floated the idea to her of running for trustee, it seems like another lifetime ago, but it was only March, uh, she wasn't all that enthusiastic. She said, we have the toy store, and it's going to be a busy season. We have a grandbaby coming. You like to play golf in the summer. People are going to criticize you. All true, all true, all true. But as she's done for 35 years, when I say to her, honey, we don't have to do it. If you are dead set against it, I can just pass. She does. She does what she is. She does what she has always done. She, sorry. She puts on her uniform. She puts on her eye black. And she turns into my greatest teammate and my greatest support. I couldn't do half of what I do without her. So Polly, thank you. I love you. Um, that was the hard part for me. It should get easier. <laughs> Secondly, I'd, I'd really like to thank my parents uh, who first brought me to this wonderful village when I was a newborn. From my grandmother's house on South Main Street, I learned what Southampton Village is. The Halsey House was right across the street. I remember biking to the village, get an ice cream at Sip and Sodas, getting a toy at Lily White's. I liked that so much, I bought the company. <laughs> uh, other memories, swimming in the ocean, getting rolled by a wave, feeding the ducks at Lake Agawam, uh, going out to the Peconic Bay Dunes with the great John Docks and his boys club, searching for and finding Blackbeard's treasure, which were actually just some foreign coins he had buried there for us to find earlier in the day. <laughs> Uh, my houses of worship, the Dune Church, St. John's, Sacred Hearts, all of these places. The 4th of July parade, the, the, the rhythm of the summer would start with the 4th of July parade and the fireworks. And then you'd get the local corn in August. And then the Shinnecock Power at Labor Day, which was always great, but it kind of meant the end of summer and back to school. There are these and so many other memories and sights and sounds and scents are what come to mind when I think of Southampton Village. And I am so blessed by the opportunity you have given me to do my best to try and preserve and protect this beautiful, this wonderful, this, this special place. And that is to whom I owe my deepest gratitude. You, the residents who heard my message and filtered out the election static and placed your trust in me to take on the challenges facing our village because we really stand in an exciting moment. There's opportunity to do great things. Save the movie theater, the Paris Concert House, revitalize the business district, reclaim Lake Agawam. I can't wait to get started and we have such a great team. Mayor Warren, Deputy Mayor Gina Resta, Trustee Joe McLaughlin, fellow trustee-elect Robin Brown. I know full well that the path ahead is not just going to be all rainbows and fairies and everybody saying how great I am. There will be some hard choices and difficult decisions. I understand full well that if there are 3,500 registered voters in the village, there are 3,500 different opinions on exactly what needs to be done. What I pledge to do is listen to you, consider all sides of an issue, try to decide what serves the greatest good for the greatest number of people, and do what is right for the village. You have my solemn promise that with the grace of God, that is what I will do. God bless our beautiful village. God bless the United States of America. Thank you very much. Trustee Robin Brown, would you like to say a few words? Just a few words. 
Southampton, I'm honored. Southampton, I'm grateful. Southampton, I am committed. Southampton, I'm here for you. Southampton, this is a new beginning. Southampton, we are better together. And I thank you, Southampton. Thank you, everyone. And that will conclude <laughs> our uh, Oath of Office ceremony. Um, our uh, organizational meeting will begin in about 15 minutes in the boardroom. So if you'd like to join us, that's great. So everyone have a great, great night, and thank you for coming out. Really?